Never let a teammate die. Whoa! No way did he get through me. Where was the shot? You. <laughs> So the IS-6, me and this tank go back a long time ago. There was a game called, I don't know if you guys have heard it, World of Tonks, that I loved playing this tank with. It was fun. You could angle, you could bounce, you could, you know, turn situations that were horrible into awesome situations. And now we have it in War Thunder. And even though this tank has decent chassis armor, but like very, very good chassis armor and okay turret armor. I don't think this tank is going to be that. I mean, that's why I really didn't make a dev blog on it. I didn't hype it because I didn't think it was going to be that good. It's at 7.0, one of the highest. And I say one of the highest before making this video, I was like, okay, what other tanks could be 7.0? And apparently the M46 is now 7.0 um, because that tank has a very good, you know, gun because it has the, this thing, 210. Jesus Christ. I mean, like, what do we want? Like, like, are, are they forcing us to use APCR? Like, I don't understand it. They need to add more tanks. They need to add so many more tanks. We don't have enough tanks in this game. But what I'm trying to get at is that I don't think this is worth the bundle. I think the bundle's worth like $40. And what you get here is a tank that might perform as good as the T44-100. Let's go to modifications. We kind of have the same penetration and you have more penetration with a non-premium tank at the same BR. I mean, granted the, the IS-6 has more armor, but at 7.0, unless they add more 7.0 tanks, it's going to get up tiered, up tiered, and up tiered. So what you're dealing with is a tank that could possibly be, be very, very effective, but it won't be because of post-war ammunition. Now, this tank would be worth the money if it had heat fin stabilized, but I don't think it should have heat fin stabilized anyways, because at 7.0, it's going to fuck with tigers even more. So call me crazy, but I think this thing's BR is too high. I mean, if you think about it, the T-29 can't penetrate the Tiger's upper plate from medium range, nor could the Tiger II penetrate the T-29 plate from decent range, nor could you do it with this guy. And he doesn't have that good of ammo. Like, for it to be worth it, I think it needs to be at 6.7, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We're going to go ahead and get into a custom battle and see how many shots we can bounce and then see how many tanks we can kill. Let's get started. Welcome to the battle. All I can say is that Russia had some of the best tank design of World War II. Just beautifully done with homogeneous armor, homogeneous armor. Tango front. We're getting to cover here. Reloads pretty slow with the 122. He might think that we're coming from his uh, backside. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's just pause here for a second while he gets tied into that T-62. Okay, let's move out. Hmm. Okay, he just shot. Nice bounce. No depression, though. Let's see if we can bounce another round. We're gonna get nice angled up, angle the turret as well. Nice. Yeah, versus, versus Russian tanks, it's fine. We might take another one. 
Yeah, you can't get my lower glaciers, can you? Oh my god, this... It is! It has... Dude. Spaced armor achieved? Took out the gun barrel. We got a T-62 to help us out right now. That's actually pretty phenomenal. And so, like, what just happens is that you have a tank that can penetrate my turret very, very easily. I was rewarded for playing smartly, or at least using my tank's armor to benefit myself. But that felt good. You know, I was rewarded for playing smartly and using my tank's armor to counter a uh, conventional round. Not heat fin stabilize or save or anything. But, you know, ooh. That one did not serve me well. Let's see where he hit me at. Beautiful shot. Right for the ammunition. I think it should be at 6.7, man. But if it gets 7.0 exclusive matchmaker, I wouldn't mind. All I'm trying to say is that they need to have a certain point before heat fin stabilized in Sabo to where you can have an armament. To where players can really learn how to play a tank to where if you angle, they can't penetrate you. And I don't think we have that in War Thunder yet. So I think this thing should be 6.7. That was fun. But with that small encounter against that T-54, maybe 7.0 is the right BR for this tank. However, it's going to be up tiered. Whoa, is that... Ooh, man, that plane got here quick. But it's going to be up tiered to, you know, dominant heat fin stabilized tanks or SPAAs more than it would be to conventional ammo types. I just hope they add, you know, more tanks to allow for that meta because there's something more fun in my opinion than killing tanks it's defeating tanks by your skill not being the first one to see see the other tank being the player that knows their tank knows the angle and is able to defeat the enemy's firepower but anyways that's enough spiel for me I just have a passion for bouncing shells I love it M8. Oh man, I don't want to kill that guy. I bet he's a nice fel- Aww. Where the fuck did my, my- my driver's here, right? We're just gonna speed up here. Okay. <laughs> okay. That one did me in. The other two didn't. Let's see where he shot me. Ammo. Gotcha. We are back in the city and we have two tanks trying to get towards B. We're going to cut right here because they might be popping out on this street any second. Yep. Okay, one down. Reloading. Nice long reload with this 122 millimeter. But honestly, once this thing penetrates, it's going to kill. It really is. Maybe if you shoot the absolute back of an enemy tank, it might not kill in one shot. But chances are once this round penetrates, it's going to decimate. Okay, let's push up here. He's, he's pushing on to us. Ooh, lucky right there. Lucky right there. Good twitch shot by Space Cat. We got a lot to... Luckily, we only lost two crew members. With this repair and this crew reload, we'll have one more. Or we'll have only... Excuse me. One crew member not with us. Chieftain. Wow, we bounced that shot. That's really lucky. I I almost fucked that shot up. I wanted to shoot him right when he got out of that um, cover he had onto his lower glaces. We got really lucky right there. What's up, ASU? Yo, 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 toe. Let's see, he wants to be friends. Yeah, he does, I think. <laughs> is, is he telling on me? No, he's not. That's okay, though. Easy. Eat. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Let's see if we can bounce the M103 shell from this angle here. Just want to experiment. 
He doesn't have... I mean, th this is the perfect angle to be at. Don't do it, ASU. Please don't. So if you think about it, we need it to be like this. Where my reticle is, I needed my um, turret over in that position. Okay, no problem. We'll push up. It's arcade. We don't need to repair it. Fuck it, right? <laughs> we got a storm over there. I don't really want to kill that guy. He's having fun like I did with the uh, storm panzer last game. Now, what's that ASU doing to that um, M103? Oh my god, he's fucking with them. We might have to take out this guy because he. I don't want him to go after our ASU. I want to see if I can push this M103 over here. Never let a teammate die. Whoa! No way did he get through me! Where was the shot? Beautiful! <laughs> I gotta give it to that guy. That's a hard shot. I thought with his, um, his low silhouette, he was gonna go for my upper glacis, which he can't really get through too easily. But damn, all right, so now we know not to let the Storm Panzer get close to us. Hmm. Should we or should we not? Really tempted to. I think I might. Oh, fuck. We're okay. We'll just reload that crew member, repair the tank. God bless we're in arcade. That's two times that's happened that I've shot a plane in this uh, dev server and it didn't fall through quickly at all. Is he still alive? Oh, there he is. <laughs> like, uh, oh, shit, Taki mushrooms. Rip and pepperonis. We shouldn't have shot it. We really shouldn't have. We're gonna burn out here, it's on purpose. This should be our last spawn into the town. Oh, I don't think we're gonna win this. Come on, push! Give me a tank to kill! No! <sighs> well, fellas, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I'm excited for this tank, but on the other hand, it's just like a, um, a milk truck with 122 millimeter if it versus heat, you know, post-war ammunition. It's, you know, you will be able, if you get down tiered, you're gonna do fucking great. But if you get up tiered, which I think you will mostly, it's not going to be a good day. There, there's going to be no meta involved. It's just going to be high tier bullshit. But again, beautiful design, beautiful model. Can't wait for it, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.